So you went for the preview. Is it as gloriously, monolithically grey as ever? Yeah, it is. It's not the most attractive football ground you've ever seen, it's fair to say. Uh, but I would guess that there are lead fans out there who love that aspect. Oh, yeah. Uh, they want it to be horrible. They want it to be a bit grim. They want it to be an hard place to go. Um, and I think it, it probably will be all of those things this season. I mean, uh, that, you know, the lad I spoke to on the preview was only a young lad, and it was his first time of watching a Premier League game at, at, at Ellen Road with a full crowd in. Uh, but I think as the season wears on, that you know that will that will play a part, no doubt about it. And I think it'll play a part in this game because this is their first big. Game at Ellen Road because Everton wasn't big, obviously. Because no, it's Everton. Uh, the, 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 the lad you spoke to is young, and these two people are young. Yeah. And and I think this and is I'm not. well, no, this is one of the things. I know, I, 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 but I'm very firmly with you. I'm in your camp in that I think that there are actually very few things in football that feel like a bit of a dividing line. In that you play United every year, you play Everton every year, yeah. everyone ends up all in on this. So, what's your? I'll go Andy first. What's your Leeds thing? Have you got a Leeds thing? What, where, where are Leeds in the in the Bell consciousness? No, it, it's a, it's a <laughs> it's a weird thing because, it, like, especially um, back over in Northern Ireland, you you get all the teams who you know most people either support Liverpool or Manchester United, but you get the odd glory hunter from the eighties and the nineties when teams used to be good. Like, you'll get the odd Forest fan. You'll get a few Leeds supporters. A few people my age support Leeds because their dad supported Leeds. And this is some really failing a glory hunting. Isn't it? <laughs> this is this is this is this. They might have been attempting glory hunting, but this is bad glory that's hunting. That's what I was saying. Like. I'm I remember tweeting in, in 2016 when Leicester won the league. There, there are kids all over the land here that are about to make the worst decision of their <laughs> lives, aren't they? So, uh, no, I don't really have a lead thing. I guess they were, they were always championship when I was, when I was growing up. I don't ever remember them in the, in the Premier League before. Did they go down to League One for a season? Yeah. Do, uh, or if I dreamt that, yeah, they went down to League One. What a year! I remember the. They went bust. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. They went bust. I remember the. I remember the year they they went to Old Trafford and knocked them out of the cup. Um, I think when they were maybe in the Championship or League One, so I think I had a, a soft spot. Yeah. yeah, soft spot for them after that. Was that Snodgrass? No? I've got Beckford. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, they had Beckford and Becky and Snodgrass and a few players like that. Um, so, no, don't really have a, a big thing with them. It's, I guess similar to Man City, when they won the league for a while, I had a soft spot for them because they they basically mugged off Manchester United. Same thing with Leeds in the FA Cup, but no, they, they don't really annoy me at all. Um, which I think is the wrong answer for you. No, it's not the wrong answer. It's like I'm intrigued. What about, what about you? What's, what's Andy there? said he didn't have a Leeds thing and then told a whole story about like Leeds and growing up and stuff. And I, I genuinely do not have a Leeds thing. Like when were they, when were they actually last in the Premier League? Obviously, apart from last season, was it seventeen years ago? Two thousand and four. Right. Okay. So I would have been quite young and not. But watching football at that age wasn't sort of in my consciousness. I don't think I've ever remembered them being in the Premier League until last season. Let me tell you, they were fucking annoying. <laughs> yeah, well. yeah, they were. They, they were annoying. The thing about them is that the really bad Leeds thing is so. Again, and this, a lot of this is so cultural. So it's also this sort of capital of the north thing, Robert. Which again, when we were about, when we were about twenty, Leeds had a Harvey Nicks. Harriet, let me tell you about it. It was this big deal that Leeds had a Harvey Nicks. That Leeds thought they were this sort of, this sort of You've thing. Got Channel Four now. Well, I'm, I'm living about that, yeah, but, so but we've left the side down on that. Uh, but they were like, this, it was the notion of Leeds as a place. We also went to Sheffield at uni. And there's a thing there as well. Yep. Sheffield's like the countercultural Yorkshire city, and Leeds is like the fucking slab monolith. It's not Tory at all, Leeds, but I'm going to call it Tory, but it's not Tory <laughs> in any way, shape, or form. But I'm going to call like it was like it's like the establishment Yorkshire thing, isn't it? It is, yeah. So everything that's Yorkshire. And everything that's—I said I wouldn't do this until after five minutes. Everything that's Yorkshire <laughs> and everything that's like the establishment Yorkshire thing, Robbo, is—it's Leeds, and they were so annoying, and it was horrible to go to, and they were good, but yeah. they weren't like good for years. They—they they, they were always a bit yo-yo-y anyway, a bit more than is given credit for. Yeah, they had their little stage and the little flirtation with the Champions League and all that, didn't they? And then it very quickly went tits up, Peter Ridsdale, all of that kind of gear and, and down they went and spiralled away. But um, when they were up there, they were I say they were annoying. I remember Alan Smith scoring oh. uh, at Anfield and being annoying. I remember Rio Ferdinand scoring for them yep. and being annoying. And he always did that thing where he, he jumped on people's shoulders and r- rose up yes. to make sure he was always on all the photographs. Yes. And that was really annoying. Um, and, and it's it's not a rivalry as such because it can't be when they've be, they disappeared for so long. But there was always a little edge, not not a Man U or Everton edge, but a little edge. And there's always been a thing about it that I think it's dead funny and I like it about ripping. 
clothes when it's Leeds. Yeah. Like it's always been a thing for, forever. For, go all the way back to like the end. Yeah. You know what I mean? There's stuff in the end talking about Leeds is close, someone wearing a sheepskin, you know, whatever it might be. Yeah. And I always think it's dead funny. When they went I mean? down, was it particularly yep. controversial and like shocking when they went down or was it more just. It had been so. It, was, it went from, if, like if you'd have said two years before, yeah. they're going to go down in two years, you'd have gone no fucking way. Right. But then, like, quite quickly, within about sort of 30 months, you were like, oh, they're in real bother here. Mm. All right, the Reds, thanks for watching a little bit of a premium Anfield rap video there. If you want to watch the rest of that show and get access to much, much more, click join below. That activates our YouTube membership. It means you get a premium video every day of the week. You get our post-match content. You get reviews, previews, and exclusive interviews all here from the heart of Liverpool. Follow us, follow them. Up the Reds.